थैंक यू वाह एब्सोल्युटली पॉजिटिवली इनक्रेडिबल गाइस एंड वी आर ओनली जस्ट गेटिंग वार्म्ड अप हियर रियली इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट देयर इज अ टन ऑफ सॉन्ग्स लेफ्ट फॉर एवरीवन वाचिंग दिस इवनिंग सो डोंट गो एनीवेयर स्टे राइट हियर ट्यून्ड इन टू आवर बैंड शो लाइव विद स्लिप ग्रूव गाइस प्लीज इफ यू आर वाचिंग एट होम फॉलो द बैंड स्लिप ग्रूव बैंड on all socials visit their website keep up to date with them uh they play all the time they're working on new music you, you just got to be locked in at this point and and I, and I know you are because so many of you are here watching and we really appreciate that uh so yes. we we just have to thank you all for watching and of course there is a, a a separate a third set of people we'd like to thank this evening and that's the incredible crew that helped bring our band show yes, to you. you we want to thank yes. Kevin Joy helping us out all day and, and and all last night on set. Kira Stack holding it down in the photography and, and pretty much just whatever we need. Eric Greenop, jack of all trades, master of every single one of them and of course I I want to introduce to the show and also shout out my 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 co-producer um one of a kind behind that board there. No one can do this thing that he does better than him. Patrick W Huber, welcome to the show, Woo! man. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is a fantastic show. I'm I'm just uh grooving and slipping, I guess, or whatever <laughs> order you, it is that I need to be in. And and and, and I'm going to riff off what Pat just said there. We would love if you guys in the chat right now watching at home could groove and slip into that like button, groove and slip into that share button. S- like that. Send this to a friend, to a cousin, to an uncle, a brother, a sister, or a neighbor. We anyone's welcome here at our band show. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, we recently just passed 1000 subscribers on YouTube our first real major milestone and that's all because of you guys so thank you so very thank much you. yeah thank and you. and oh I'm sorry gentlemen <laughs> once i get going i don't stop so oh, no. feel free to interrupt me but i i also kind of teased what i'd really love to know now which is the origin story of slip groove you guys said you've been playing together for about a year or so is that is that correct did i hear that properly we, we've earlier? been playing for about 2 years about 2 years fantastic talk to us about that uh so i uh started the rock band <laughs> with uh wayne uh about 2 years ago pretty much exactly 2 years ago and um with no expectations at all just looking for someone to play music with and we had another bass player really good guy and he played with us for about 6 or 7 months and um we did play a few shows and had a lot of fun. He moved on to some other projects and in walked Ken and he's been with us ever since. And then like we were saying before, Emery's been with us for maybe just 6 8 weeks or so. Um and one of the I guess one of the cool things, one of the most fun things that we have is that Ken, Wayne and myself, we all live probably within 5 miles of each other. So it's really easy to get together and rehearse and just personalities worked and we've all played in bands throughout our lives and we knew we enjoyed this one we knew this one had some potential to be even more fun yeah there's it's all about the fun you guys bring the fun you guys bring the professionalism and it's hard to believe again as i said earlier that you've been playing together for such a short amount of time even harder to believe that you guys added emery um uh about what um a month and a half ago or something like that he about, he only had more than 2 months but you know. okay. like four practices four or five practices yeah we practiced like four times show already this is the second show already. we practiced <laughs> four times and the then played seat. a show and then here we are and i'm like <laughs> all right <laughs> Well, I have to say Emery, you're already garnering a lot of attention in the chat. Um oh. Christina Dali says, "OM, you looking so good." Quote unquote. <laughs> well, well, that was another thing. We needed uh we needed some eye candy. We needed a young we needed, <laughs> we needed a young guy in the band. A wise marketing decision from uh from someone who likes to think he knows a little bit about that. Um no, you guys are all phenomenal rock stars. Um I I can tell. bred and uh born and raised rock stars and uh speaking of that like all rock stars they come from somewhere and i think pat did, didn't you have a question wanting to get to know the band a little deeper get to know a little bit more about what makes them tick yeah we were uh talking before uh, we got on the air and um you know supernova definitely one of my favorite songs that you guys uh do it, it kind of sneaks up on you um and so yeah christian and i uh we're sort of talking like you know what really 
makes Slip Groove's music? What, like, what albums um, really inspire each member and, you know, <laughs> basically uh, led you to the music that you're playing for us today? And uh, I don't know who wants to jump in there first, but that's kind of an open question for, for anybody. It's a culmination of so many albums, honestly. From uh, jam bands to heavy, you know, hard rock bands. Yeah, we just give him something, Ken. Give him something. Give him, give him something. I used, well, I used to like Grateful Dead. What, 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 what album? I still like what him album? A lot. What yeah. album? He didn't listen to albums, and he what live? I was at the shows, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and these guys have a, a more of a heavy metal background, um, Wayne and Dan. So it's a, it's a combination of a lot of different styles. And after a while, we've been playing for so long. I mean you turn it to yourself, you know, eventually you just have your own identity. And that's what well we Well said. Well said, but I will say, because we were talking earlier and you said what was like a, an influential record. So sometimes people ask, what's the greatest record of all time? I actually know the answer to this. You got the right answer? I do, it's an objective fact. Wow. Appetite for Destruction, 1987, Guns N' Roses, the best <laughs> album of all time, period. See what I'm talking about? Not a bad song on the album. <laughs> someone, uh, exactly. Every song is great. <laughs> someone took the night train. <laughs> <laughs> when I was younger, I used to play, I, I used to know how to play every tune off that album. Oh, fantastic. But I don't anymore. Mr. Brownstone, very underrated song. Something like that. Yeah, phenomenal. I've seen Guns N' Roses a number of times with my dad. It's like one of our biggest bonding experiences. We had to make a tough choice this summer. Um, it was, do we see Guns N' Roses again or try and see someone new? So we're going to see Metallica. It's going to be my first time. And nice. Speaking of metal, Wayne, um, are you one of the metalheads in the band? Yes, I am. I am. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so what, what's an album for you that really kind of inspired you to pick up the sticks? Oh, to pick up the sticks. <laughs> How many years ago? <laughs> it, was However, probably, it was probably <laughs> like Kiss Love Gun. Yeah, I, I saw Kiss. It was my first concert. You know, uh, something like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, Kiss Love Gun. Fair enough. I mean, Freely's Comet, local legends, right? You know, um, <laughs> I actually worked at H and R Block a few years ago, and um, oh no, I'm forgetting. Richie Scarlett came in, and I, I had to play my my best to not. It absolutely freak out. Um, of course, one of Ace Frehley's right-hand man once he went solo, and uh, it was pretty cool. And I definitely did embarrass myself. But what are you gonna do? You don't see a rock star in a tax office every day of the week. <laughs> Ken was Ken was talking about the Grateful Dead, and I would be remiss not to uh, say that Fish and Trey Anastasio certainly, in my head, some of the greatest rock and roll of all time. For sure, 100 percent. Frank Zappa too, huge influence. Oh, yeah. Yep. I forgot about him. But Dan, I didn't forget about what you just said. Why is Appetite for Destruction it, the greatest album it, of all time? It's hard to say. It's everything. <laughs> it's, it's the energy. It's the riffs. It's the lyrics. It's the attitude. It's top to bottom. Every note, every song is perfect. It's the takes they got. It's raw attitude, rock and roll, no apologies, just that album to this day, and, and a, lot of the, a lot of the stuff I was listening to in the 80s, I don't think really holds up much anymore. Um, but Appetite, not only do I think it holds up, in my opinion, I, I do think it's the best record of all time. And anything by Iron Maiden. <laughs> I love Maiden, too. I'm a, I'm a huge Maiden fan. Likewise. Likewise. Wow, that's incredible. No, it is a phenomenal record. I would never guess that listening to your sound, but I think <laughs> no. that's the beauty about... You know, uh, wait till you hear these next two songs. Yeah, we, yeah, wait till the, yeah. <laughs> we said we'd like to listen to it, not we can't play it. Fair enough. Emery, <laughs> what about you? What album inspired you? Um, honestly, uh, I'm thinking about it, and uh, there was a band, a Turkish band, a rock, Turkish rock band that I grew up with, and I don't think anybody here would know it besides Ken because yeah. I, I introduced the, <laughs> yeah, the music to Ken but um it was kind of like a Turkish uh traditional music and American rock fusion band and um, it was four guys and the keyboard player was just like a little younger than the others so I'm almost like living like the child <laughs> of dream um of being one of those guys and the keyboard player was really tight too and he actually played like organ uh, like rock organ whatever and I honestly, like growing up with that, I think that has the greatest influence on me, even though it's not the greatest album of all time. Uh, the album is called Four Seasons in, in Turkish. It's Dört Mevsim. What's the name of the band? Uh, Mollar. That's, 
um, and uh, I think musically it has a lot of influence on me. Um, so shout out to them. Not all are still alive, but um, I got to meet them too, which was really cool. Um, uh, family, friends, somehow related, but uh, uh, yeah. If if anybody wants to check them, I I really recommend um, Molar. Maybe I'll put them on the comments somewhere after the show. But um, yeah. Nice. You guys know any heavy songs? <laughs> <laughs> Please comment them. One. I'm intrigued. I'd love to check that out. Um, I recently got into a uh, German noise core band from the 70s called Can. Oh, nice. You guys familiar with them? Yeah, I actually heard of them, yeah. Really good. Really <laughs> wild so experimental <laughs> stuff. No, I did. Um, <laughs> there he is. So I'm always open. WFM. Our band show is always open to all new different sounds. As long as you can play that instrument and you have that passion for it, we, we want to hear it. So please comment that. Um, speaking of comments, guys, this chat is absolutely going insane. We've broken the record of most <laughs> viewers at one time. Slip Groove is absolutely dominating and just establishing themselves on the Mount Rushmore here of our band show in real time. Thank you, so guys. we got to shout the chat out. Everyone. Hassan Mert with another bear. <laughs> we have um, Rad Aronson, bravo. Thank Andrew you, Andy. Bruno, rock and roll. Rock and roll. Andrew. Doc Lazarus says Freebird. Always one of those, <laughs> and we appreciate you being here. <laughs> Rachel 3.0 says Dan Pitt is such an icon. That's my I daughter. Agree. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, <laughs> yes. amazing. Yes, you can have some money. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And she also says best album of all time is Spray Paint Poems by Slip Groove. And yeah. Sweetheart, you could have even more money. Thank you. <laughs> I, I don't know why no one said that. I, 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 I'm, I'm, you know, inclined to agree. Um, Cast of Sky says fish, two exclamation points. We could talk. And Todd Unger says, Dan, we spent a lot of time time hanging listening to zep so i want to say something so todd who's thank you todd for coming he's he got me playing guitar he's one of the most wicked guitar players to this day and uh back when we were literally 12 years old he picked up uh he picked up an ibanez gem and uh blew my brains and uh we've been playing ever since thank you todd phenomenal thank you todd yes todd thank you <laughs> so very much because we are having an absolute blast tonight and we really appreciate you doing us all a favor the world a favor on that one uh pat how you doing back there? I know you always have doing a lot good. going on. I think on. I have to thank Todd as well. You know, join the party. Here. <laughs> Fair uh, enough. Speaking of the party, is it, uh, Pat, do you think it's time for some more tunes here on our band show? I think so. Um, man, I, w I wasn't uh, expecting this. I was expecting uh, another uh, round of, you know, hey, go ahead and click that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could do that. I'm <laughs> always up for that game. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm, I, you know, well, I, I well have played. a cute here and, you know, it's uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, YouTube, Instagram. We, we have all those socials, and I'm pretty sure the band has them too. So, you know, definitely if this is the moment before we get to those tunes to go ahead and, uh, you know, do your research and hit those buttons and make sure that you're, uh, you know, getting informed about our band show and Slip Groove. Yeah, guys, look, we didn't want to put it in the headline. Tonight is all about bringing Slip Groove's amazing music to you at home, but we really do appreciate it. This is a huge milestone for us, 1,000 subscribers. We've been working really hard, and the fact that so many of you have taken the time to tune in month after month really does mean the world to us. Uh, so just know it, it does not go unnoticed. We, we appreciate every comment, every bear in the chat means the world to us. And uh, it would also mean the world to us if you could follow the band. Slip Groove Band on all socials and slipgrooveband.com. Check out their album. It's absolutely incredible. It is right here in my hand. Spray Paint Poems. Phenomenal from top to bottom. And they're going to be bringing you a few more songs, if I'm correct, off that album this evening. So, gentlemen, please take it away.